Welcome back to Vienna! Today, we're here on a mini in-class field trip to view the connections this city has with the young Adolf Hitler. Our story starts with the reason why he went to Vienna in the first place. To enter the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts. He tried to get in twice, but failed both times. I'm sorry, Herr Hitler, you don't have a style. Your people are like little buildings, there's no life in them. Perhaps if you tried architecture or theatrical design, I'm truly sorry. I have a class to teach. Best of luck. At the same time, a man named Karl Luger was mayor, and he is credited with the transformation of Vienna into a modern city. But he is also known for his very anti-Semitic policies, which are sometimes viewed as a model for Hitler's Nazism. It's the Jews' fault, you know. Swarm into our country, steal the bread from our tables. Just ask our mayor. They are wolves. Beaten to prey in human form. I'm here in Vienna, and right behind me is a statue of Dr. Karl Luger. He was the anti-Semitic mayor of Vienna when Hitler was a down-and-out bum in the area. And right next to the statue, if you look to the right, is the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts. That's where Hitler tried to get in the art school, but he was rejected both times. Right here in Vienna. Hey guys, what building is that? Vienna Academy of Fine Arts! And who failed to get into twice that school? Hitler! Woo! <laughs> While living in Vienna, Hitler painted many of the city's famous buildings. One of which was the Opera House, a place that he was a regular visitor to and where he spent most of his money. And here's what the Viennese Opera House looks like today. Basically the same as Hitler painted it all those years ago. Hitler also painted Vienna's most famous church, St. Stephen's. It's known for its famous tower, where you can go all the way up to the top. From there, we can try to find any other buildings the young Hitler painted. The building with the green dome is St. Charles Church, and it just happened to be another structure that Hitler painted, more than once to be exact. So we went back to see the past and found in many cases things haven't changed all that much since Hitler lived in Vienna. I hope you enjoyed this mini in-class field trip and hope you now know something you didn't know before.